Item number nine, approval of contracts and grants. We have a resolution authorizing the submission of an annexation petition. We have a motion, please. So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? It's a great idea to Find take our hours again. C building and put it back in the Grays Lake. Right. Mm -hmm. And it puts other half, other parcel of the Waukee property in the Grays Lake, correct? Right. Yes. Yeah. So now we're not Waukegan anymore. Can someone have helped me to understand very quickly, if you can, 200 words or less, if you can. Um, I am a civil neophyte. What benefit is this? Please help. For the college not having to deal with multiple jurisdictions. Okay. Uh, is the primary. Tell me uh, what we're doing now from a civil standpoint <coughs> with, with how this benefits and how we are more efficient. On the, on the ceiling uh, building, I don't know yes. what the history was why we financed it the way that we did. But, okay. But oh, basically it was did, great. Uh, <laughs> we did a lease back. Close to what we call a lease back today that, uh, that we used the city of Waukegan. Uh, Close to a lease back, so we yeah, something like that. We leveraged we leveraged our ability to sell bonds and put money in investments okay. with no income tax, and it was about two and a half three percent based on selling the bonds, and we couldn't sell the bonds without going to the voters. Okay. The city of Waukegan had home rule authority; okay. they could sell the bonds. So we took that three percent from the investment, paid it off on the bonds and paid off the building within 20 years at no cost to the taxpayers. It was the most amazing thing you had ever seen in your life, yes. but we had to dedicate the building to the city of Waukegan. Therefore, they annexed the building, and then now we paid those bonds okay. off, and it's surrounded by Gray's Lake, so it should be in Gray's Lake. Also, the Gwaltney property is in, is part of it is not in Gray's Lake. We always knew that, so that's coming into Gray's Lake also. If you, if you have read the uh, annexation agreement that was put together years and years ago, there's a lot of advantages in that agreement that are, that are good for the, for the College of Oak County. And water rights, is, does that, is that play a role Lake, at all? No, Grays Lake doesn't provide water to the okay. college. Okay. Uh, one uh, quick item. Uh, so that the board uh, knows that next month the, uh, there'll be an action on a quick claim deed. There is a small, small uh, square of the property of Sea Wing uh, that wasn't recorded oh, properly uh, oh, wow. 20 plus years ago. Wow. Uh, Tom Morris found that uh, and uh, we'll be bringing you an action. <coughs> uh, Good. I think it's a square. Um, I think it said five, six. 25, 25 feet. 25 feet. There used to be a guy in the math department <laughs> that would catch that, but unfortunately he had some health issues. I went to high school with him. He was amazing. Roll call, please. Can you get the uh, title report you find like that? Yeah. So we're going to get a four-digit address ever. The college has a five-digit address. Oh, I don't know what into that. Yeah. that's an interesting yeah. thing. We're all in Grays Lake County. I wonder if it's that. Uh, yeah, five digits for the unincorporated project. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this comp study uh, that was, you know, again, supposed to uh, uh, enhance our internal equities. And, uh, and I know that, you know, I've given an explanation last month, but the more and more I look at the evidence that's being to pre uh, presented to us in our board packets for approval, uh, I, I don't see that the evidence uh, supports the rhetoric that we're being told, and I know that uh, uh, this certainly is not the outcome that we were told uh, uh, when, uh, when we first started this. And, and as I'm looking at, uh, again, this document, uh, looking at 11.3.1, uh, you know, I'm seeing uh, 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 Crandall Collins going from a, from a DBM 41 to a, to a 45, and there's no increase in salary, and, and I understand that. Uh, probably was brought in higher than, uh, than should have been. But uh, then I look at, uh, just down at the bottom of the same page, I'm looking at Genesis again, going from a, from a 42 to a 45, and there's a $10,500 increase uh, more than, uh, the, than Collins. When I looked at the next page, uh, looking at Johnson on the next page, a C45 to a... Uh, C forty two. This isn't a closed session topic, is it? No, this focused. is all. I'm just regurgitating yeah. what okay. is in. Our mm -hmm. attorney just said paper. this is appropriate for closed session. We I don't want to discuss it in closed session. This okay. is this, this is all public information that is on this particular document. Everybody, <coughs> this is public information that I'm regurgitating here. What was so. That? If I look at uh, 11, so that's what it's on here. Right. It could be. So then I'm looking at 11.3.2, and Kathleen Johnson goes from a C42 to a C45, uh, and fine, you know, there's no increase there, but it's still $8,000 more than, than Janice. And you look at the next page, this one's my favorite. Uh, you look at Landman going from a C43 to a C43, it's the same. Uh, and there is a $6,000 increase while, again, staying at the same DBM. Then you put on top of that uh, Mer Merrilies and Mitchell, both starting at a B23, almost a $33,000 difference in where those two started. They're both going to a B32, so we've tried to help a little bit and you know, gave an increase to, uh, to Mitchell on that. Uh, but it's still $25,000 more than the person sitting right next to them, which is ranked at the very same DBF. Um, you know, again, uh, I just feel that you know the the evidence that we're being given uh, certainly does not support uh, the the rhetoric that we're being told. Uh, I'll make the suggestion again. Uh, I really think we need to revisit this, uh, the, Jerry. I really think we need to visit your whole comp study. Uh, and come up with some options because you know we're we're sitting here listening to people coming forward about low morale, uh, people losing their jobs, uh, uh, and everything. I gotta tell you, I'm just a board member and I'm scratching scratching the surface uh, just with this. Uh, if I were an employee here, I'd be furious uh, to see that this is happening like this. Uh, again, 
uh, I really would like you, Jerry, to, to, to go back and revisit your comp study and come back with some options for us. Thank you. Any other comments? Roll call, please. Ms. T. Day. Abstain. Ms. Paul. Yes. I Mr. Mr. Anderson. Aye. Aye. Dr. Kerrigan. Aye. Ms. Gashgarian. Aye. Dr. Griffin. Aye. Ms. Howland. Aye. Mrs. Oschlager. No. Okay, there is no 11. Well, there is an 11.6, I'm sorry. 11.6.1 for motions and transfers. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Second. Roll call. Ms. T. Day. Aye. Ms. Paul. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Ms. Gashgarian? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Holland? Aye. Mrs. Oldschlager? Aye. At this point, for the reasons previously stated pursuant to the Illinois statutes, we will be going into closed session. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Second. Ms. T. Day. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Ms. Gashgarian? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Howland? Aye. Mrs. Oldschlager? Aye. <coughs> Hurry this up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm going to want other